which genre is realistic fiction? In the beginning, it was very sad. Because Aubrey's mother, she's Aubrey's the main character. Her mother abandoned her. And he used to have a sister and a dad. They died in an auto accident. The characters are Aubrey. She's 11 years old. She's the one who experienced the losses. Her gram, which is her grandmother, she's the one who took her from when Aubrey was in Virginia and took her to her home in Vermont. Bridget is Aubrey's new best friend who lives right next door. Maybell is Bridget's little sister who reminds Aubrey a lot of Savannah. Elizabeth, which is the name of Aubrey's mom. She's the one who has abandoned her. And Amy is the guidance counselor that Aubrey has to go to almost every day. And Marcus, he is not the only one who has problems in his life. He's like Aubrey, even though his father left him. Okay, so the main problem is that Aubrey's mother abandoned her leaving Aubrey at home. And while her mom's gone, she, Aubrey goes out to the pet store and gets a little pet fish. It's a beta. She names him Sammy. She used to play Sammy lullabies before they went to bed. And when they were at the Graham's house, because Aubrey took Sammy, they experienced a lot of things. They went out to a lot of people. And Aubrey wrote letters to Jilly. Jilly is Savannah's imaginary friend, who Aubrey likes writes letters to. Critique is like iffy. Like, Aubrey is always having a hard time. Her losses make her confused and sad, but her gram always always cheers her up along with Bridget. Like they help her get through her problems. They all work together to get through the problems. Many people cry at the time because this book is very sad most of the time. And my critique Oh, and the problem gets solved because Aubrey's mother comes back to Vermont, to Graham's house, and like Graham and her mom are having an argument, and then like Aubrey's like, mom? It's like she's wondering, and she walks down the stairs to see her mom crying, sitting on a kitchen chair. Aubrey hugs her so, like so tight, like it says in here, like she hugs her tight like a boa constrictor, wrapping its prey. And but Aubrey stays at her Graham's house, but she she's just not ready to come home yet. My critique is for people who like real life sad and real life real to life stories. This book is for you.